Hi everyone, I'm making sushi rolls today, so if you like to see how I made these, then continue watching. These sushi rolls are filled with shrimp tempura, imitation crabs, avocado, and cucumber, and they're topped with a few different ingredients. Sushi rolls may look a little bit intimidating, but when you actually make them, they're actually not very hard. So I hope what I'm showing today will help some of you who has been asking. To make the sushi roll, we'll first need to make our rice. I'm cooking two and a half cups of uncooked rice. Now first you'll want to rinse these until the water runs clear. This will take about three to four rinse. Once the water runs clear, add enough water according to your rice instructions and then cook them either in a rice cooker or on the stove. This recipe makes about six to seven sushi rolls. While the rice is cooking, we're going to go ahead and prepare the rest of our ingredients. We'll first start with our shrimp. You'll need about 10 to 12 shrimps and I recommend using jumbo shrimps. Devein the shrimps if they did not come deveined. Otherwise, peel them but leave the last end of the shell and the tail on. Rinse the shrimp with cold water, drain them, and then pat them dry with paper towel so we can proceed with the next step. Next, we want to stretch out our shrimp so that when we cook them, they are not curled. And to do this, follow what I'm showing in the video. Flip the shrimp belly side up, cut shallow slits diagonal, and then once you get to the end, flip the shrimp belly side down. Using your thumbs and fingers, press the shrimp down onto the cutting board to break the veins of the shrimp and to stretch the shrimp. This shrimp is now ready. So to compare this to a shrimp that has not been through this process, it's very curled and that's not what we want. We want a straight shrimp so that when we fry it, it's pretty straight and not curled. So here is all the shrimps that I have finished off with this process. Pour panko or breadcrumbs into a bowl and then into our other bowl, we are going to mix our tempura batter. I'm using this type of tempura batter but if you want to use other kinds, you can, or you can use all-purpose or cake flour. Now you want to add enough water. That way the batter is pretty thin. You do not want a thick batter. Heat a medium-sized pot of oil, and then now we're going to deep fry our shrimp. Dip the shrimp into the batter, and you don't want to add too much batter. You want a pretty thin amount. Shake off the excess, and then now dip this into the panko or bread crumbs on all four sides. Dip the meat part of the shrimp into the batter first and then lower it into the oil and then let go of the shrimp. And allow this shrimp to cook for about two minutes or until the batter is crisp and golden. When cooked, transfer the tempura shrimp into a drying rack or a bowl with paper towels. Next, we're going to mix rice vinegar with sugar and salt, and this mixture is going to be added to our rice. You want to mix well until the sugar and salt is dissolved. If they do not dissolve, you can microwave this for about 30 seconds. Our rice is now cooked, so go ahead and add or pour in the rice into a big bowl. And then now we're going to add in our rice vinegar mixture that we just mix up and I'm only adding half of this or three-fourths of this amount. If you like to add all of it, you can. Mix enough so that the vinegar is all mixed well with the rice. Avoid over mixing otherwise you're going to be breaking your rice into small pieces. For the next protein, we're going to strip and smash our imitation crabs into small pieces with our fingers. And then we're going to add in mayo and sriracha sauce for some extra seasoning. Next, we're going to cut our cucumber and our avocado. You'll need half of a cucumber and one whole avocado. This is how I like to cut my cucumbers. I like to remove some parts of the seeds.
For the avocado, we're going to cut this in half, and then half of the avocado, we're gonna slice it into pieces, and those pieces will go inside of our sushi roll. For the other half of the avocado, I'm going to cut them into thin slices, and those are gonna go on the outside of the sushi roll, just for decoration and for extra taste. Once we complete this process of our avocado, we will be ready to make our sushi rolls. You will need a sushi mat covered with saran wrap, a bowl of water mixed with rice vinegar to help prevent your sushi rice from sticking to your hands. Place a piece of the nori or seaweed onto your sushi mat. I'm not using the entire piece, so I cut it just slightly above half piece. Add in your rice. I'm adding in 3 4 cups of the rice. Make sure to wet your hands in the rice vinegar water mixture in between spreading the rice. That way the rice is not sticking onto your fingers. What we want is a layer that is thin and even. So once we've achieved that, go ahead and flip this. That way the rice is now down and the nori side is out. Place some shrimp into the middle half of the nori and then add in the avocado or cucumber or both. Add two shrimp tempura with the tail sticking out of the opposite sides of the rice, just as shown. Lift the edge of the mat that is closest to you and roll it out with the filling until the edges of the rice meet the other edge of the nori on the other side. Press the mat evenly to compress the filling and set the shape of the roll. Here is our first sushi roll all ready for the next step. Here is my next sushi roll. In this one, I'm adding everything that's the same except no avocado. This one has just cucumber with it. For this sushi roll, I'm going to add avocado to the top. So follow what I'm showing in this video. Just spreading out the avocado that we sliced thinly from earlier. And then now you're going to add in saran wrap on top. Place the mat on top and then using your hand, apply even pressure to set the shape of the roll with the avocado. Remove the mat but leave the saran wrap on top of the sushi roll. We're going to cut our sushi in half and then those two half in half again. And then each of these half in half. So you want eight pieces in total. While you're cutting your sushi roll, a lot of the shape do get out of sort. So to do that and put it back in shape, place the sushi mat on top, compress and set your shape again. Remove the mat and also the saran wrap from the sushi roll. This part of the sushi roll is now ready for the next step of decorating the top with some sauces. Here is another example of another sushi roll that I made. Let's now make our spicy mayo sauce. Just add sriracha to Japanese mayonnaise and mix this well. Add this to a piping bag in order to decorate. So follow what I'm showing here. And then on the avocado, I'm adding a little dab of the sauce instead. And then this sauce, this is Sunagi sauce that I purchased already pre-made. It's the Kinko Man brand. And I tend to like this sauce in my sushi, so I do add a little bit more than usual. If you like less, just do one drizzle. So for the middle sushi roll, I'm adding in a thin slice of jalapenos. And then on top of the jalapenos, I'm adding in a little score of sriracha sauce. And then I'm also adding sriracha sauce on top of the mayo sauce or the spicy mayo sauce on top of the avocado. For this sushi roll, I'm adding in furikake, which is rice seasoning mix. And then I'm going to add in fried onions. I'm now adding in capelin roe to the middle sushi roll.
Lastly, I'm going to top this sushi roll with diced onions. So this is how I made my sushi rolls, my shrimp tempura sushi rolls. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And let me know if you do give this a try, how it turned out and how you like it. Thank you so much for watching.